Hey everyone, I'm Zero Timing and back with more X Force Foundation Star Wars Interworlds mod. That's a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's been a bit since I streamed last and I've done a lot off stream because <laughs> there was a ton of things I had to do. Basically, get a lot of licenses so I could buy ships and put the HUD back on. So I've now got licenses to buy capital ships from the CSA and New Republic. And I think that's all I have it currently for. Technically I could get it from the Galactic Empire but I need to build a defense station or two for that one. I'm going to see if I'm lucky in one of my defense stations counts. And I've also bought and built a few more stations. So, I've got two defense stations which I just need to get my New Republic capital ship license. They're pretty basic. Not much of them, they're just literally an admin center and a docking pad. I probably didn't even need the docking pad. Now that I think about it, because would just counted with the admin center. Um, what else? So, most of my other stations I haven't done much with. They're just bringing in a s slow amount of income. And so now that I got the license for New Republic and CSI, I can actually set my stations so they don't buy stuff off people anymore. Which is great because now they actually earn money. And also, I built a new station at Anot because I want to try to get my reputation up a bit with them. Mainly just because I want their defense, like their admin center, because it's the Talati one. And I think that could be nice if I'm building some defense stations. Oh yeah, this, this is pretty basic, it's just... Graphene, um, fine metal, and dual steel plate production with energy cell. And as you can see, it's under construction still. And the last station I built is kind of this monstrosity. It's actually not really that big a station, it's just took ages to build it. I haven't visited it in person so I might do that this stream. Uh, it's basically just a scrap recycling station slash defense platform. So it's got a few defense platforms up here. It's got <laughs> umpteen dock stations. So I can easily park a huge amount of ships here. And it's got your scrap processor, scrap recycler, and a ton of energy cell productions to actually to provide the energy cells for this station. And I've got... Oh, it looks like it's almost finished. Got one more to go. Oh no, it is finished. So it's, that's just... Um, the requirements for the tyrants on it because the station's armed and almost fully operational because it's in a potential conflict sector and yeah so hopefully I now have enough energy cells if not I've got two more spots production power 453 consumption power 414 okay yeah so it's now got enough energy cell production to, well, power the scrap recycling process. So hopefully this starts actually making some money. Like it's already got 853 credits. 1000 credits, not... <laughs> not 853 credits. But yeah, and I've got four quad jumper tugs just 
grabbing scrap to recycle. Benji want to get a actual big scrap ship for that, but it's not a priority. And it'll probably require a bit of micromanaging just so it doesn't get blown up. And so it hasn't this sector hasn't been too bad lately. It's actually the one down here which has been the problem, but I think oh no, it looks like they finally cleared it out, so I'm not sure how much fighting is actually going on down here. Which is gonna make it interesting when I buy the dreadnought because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna fight with it. Actually, I, no, I do know there's one thing I want to fight, and that is this Vong Armed Beacon. Never going to say the full name because I really don't know how you're supposed to pronounce the first part. Yuzan Vong, maybe? Yuzan Vong? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I want to blow this up so this sector is actually, well, safe. Because currently, I have to have, I have my Architens and two Defender Corvettes, basically. What's that about? Oh, I'm for any, I'm not Federation, okay, good. Anyway, so I have two Defender Corvettes, which I basically just send off to attack. The Vong, who are attacking my miners. The problem is, if I go in sector why my miners are under attack, they're going to get blown up. Because of the difference between in sector and out of sector combat. Don't know why I'm sending the architects to take on a single fighter, but whatever. So yeah, I want to take that out. Which hopefully the Dreadnought will help with. But I need to build the Dreadnought first. And I doubt I can buy anything at the Mon Cal shipyards. Well, I would have thought you could buy more than just a reef home and a freighter version of or liner version. I'm not sure is it, is it really a freighter? Kind of is, yeah. Since this is more than Canamara shipyards, even so I can buy stuff from New Republic and there's more options. And I don't have to pay some insane fee to buy them. Like, I think it's 200 million if you want to buy, well, at least that's for the Kuwait shipyards, which at some point I want to do, unless it's going to be cheaper to just buy blueprints and, you know, just build them myself. Uh, this is the wrong station anyway. Actually, another thing is in between streams, I also managed to get my hands on this ship. A Lancer Corvette. Kind of a neat little ship. I think its first appearance was in Star Wars Rebels. And I believe it's one of the ships in the giant fleet in Rise of Skywalker. And it also showed up very briefly in the background in Obi Wan. Uh, it's kind of a neat little ship in this game. It's got four pay controlled guns, it's got a turret on top, and it's Got a little interior. Cargo bay. Um, a bar. And I don't think there's much else to it. 
like I'm guessing these would be crew cabins but you can't go in so it doesn't matter oh conference room forgot about that with kind of small doors I mean if I'm a Talati this would work actually would those yeah no they would work Poss or no no actually they won't work I think but look at it So, uh, for that, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, unless they step up, those, um, doors, the room behind them don't really work with the shape of the ship. Interior. And, yeah, it's cockpit. I haven't really flown this in combat, so I don't know how well it goes in combat. But because it's a bigger ship, I'm kind of hesitant because last big ship like f like freighter sized um yeah it didn't go too well i basically lost my yt 1300 off stream because i went against some bong and well it didn't go well since i'm um, flying around here i might as well just grab my arc for this arc 170 so I've been using an A-Wing to get around, just because it's nice and fast. But since I may be doing some combat, I thought the Ark might be a better choice. Where is it? Where in the world is that leading me to? No, it's all the way down to... Are not space. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That's going to be a long trip and something I'll probably do off stream. Anyway, so why I'm just traveling around, I might as well buy the dreadnought because it's probably going to take a couple of minutes for it to build. But first, I need to do some fun transferring around because it's going to cost me at least 13 to 14 million the good thing is I've got a bit of funds in my station so I should be good actually I should check out it's probably Moncal shipyard shipyard what representative is. See how much it's going to cost to buy the equipment license. Because I might want to upgrade the shields on the Dreadnought to Mon Kamara shields if possible. Depends if the shipyard actually sells Mon Kamara shields as well. Let's have a look. So shields... Actually I might not need to buy equipment. But it looks like they sell them on Kamara shields, which might be good on the Dreadnought. Anyway, so CSA is where I'm going to buy this from. I think I can buy it from New Republic, but it's just going to take ages to get over here, if I do. Uh, let's just go cheap shields. Actually, no, that's the engine one. Um. I'm never sure which shields to go with. I normally go for something with reasonable recharge and reasonable strength, so... GA30A2 looks like the right choice. Thrusters want full ones, just because... It would be a horrible pain otherwise to fly by myself. Uh, since I'm planning to probably doesn't matter which shield I choose but I might just go to full ones just so I actually can properly compare them between the Mon Calamari and well these ones so I know which ones are better thankfully don't have to worry too much about picking gun turrets since there's not much choice the good thing is I think these ones are 10 kilometer range which means 
I can kind of sit out of range and, well, not sit out of range, but sit at a far enough range that I won't get straight away blown up by station tyrants or something. And maybe I can dodge them? I don't know. Don't have much experience with how maneuverable a dreadnought is. I have a feeling it's not going to be very maneuverable. Uh, I, try, I think from memory, when I last looked, X, see, XI-15 or X-15, XI-5 or X-15, I'm not sure which one it's called, is the better of the two turrets. So, 7 kilometer range, and slightly better guessing horde damage yeah slightly better worse shield damage better hull damage so I'll probably go with that don't know how much I'll get to use these because I want to try to stick at stick out as far away from my target as possible but if they move in range I have them and I think there's six of them. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Yeah, so there's two groups, so six. Actually, where do these towns even go? Because the singles go in the um, blisters. Pretty sure that's. Oh no, that is. They're just so small that I think they're um. What are laser turrets? I actually don't know why I'm putting police scan on this. And repair drones, even if they annoy me half the time. And crew, let's just go 30. Can't be bored with marines because... Well, actually, I'm 25 marines. That's the thing, I could put 25 marines on here, but... That's not many marines. And it's extra costs, I don't need to spend all, and countermeasures. Okay, that's actually cheaper than I thought it was going to be. So it's only 12 million instead of 13 or 14. Which is great, because it means I got some leftover cash. I think so. It looks like I need to upgrade the speed. Probably upgrade. Well, we'll see when I get the Mon Calamari shields on if they're better. But I think I'm going to upgrade, maybe recharge rate? We'll see. Like, it doesn't have that great shields, but the hull points on it are pretty good. Like, I think they're equivalent to a Victory Star Destroyer. They're definitely equivalent to a ship bigger than themselves. So, Victory 780, yeah. So, which, I gotta admit, feels slightly weird because the victory is um, a lot bigger like it's for well, memory dreadnought 600 victory is 900 so 300 meter difference in length and then the actual width of the victory means it probably can fit two or three dreadnoughts inside it so in theory it should be two to three times greater hull points but that's just me being pedantic. Yeah, I've got a few ships I can buy. I think not sure what the next ship I will buy is. It's not gonna be one of these though. I can buy dreadnoughts for 
close to the same price I'm going to buy Dreadnoughts. Even so, this has really good shields. It's kind of like the opposite of Dreadnought. It's got better shield points, but worse haul. So, Dreadnought's got about the same haul points as this has shield points, but it has the worse sh shield points compared to this sh oh, one's um, haul points. The thing is, the Dreadnought's got a lot more guns on it. And so I do kind of like the Neutron, even if it is a bit of an ugly, ugly, junky sort of looking ship. Maybe at some point I might build myself another Neutron Star Builder. I don't know. Depends if I start building more stations in Lothal. Which I might. Tempted to buy a second Architens just as an escort. And probably eventually buy a victory, but that's 40 million, so that's kind of far off. And that's just a base haul, and like if I go full stats at 57 million. And I may end up just buying them. Some new Republic ships. Ah, uh, let's see. Did I not... I didn't confirm my um, purchase of the Dreadnought. Well, that was clever. So now I have to go through all of that again. Wait. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Oh, well. It's easier when you know what you want to do anyway. Just change the shields. Ch change to dual. Actually, that's one thing. The main reason I'm going with the dual lasers is... If you compare the range on the duals to the quad... The quad's 3.4, the jewels are 4 kilometers. It just means more chance. It's going to engage enemy fighters, you know, just further away. Even so, the quad, the main difference really is quad shoots more rounds off, and but it has worse range. So in theory, it should do more damage to fighters, but. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well that looks good. Get a bit more repair drones. Get rid of the marines because I don't have a use for them right now. At some point I need to try out boarding ships, but I have a feeling it's going to be harder in this mod than the base game, unless if I do um, some of the cheesier boarding strategies, like, you know, just doing travel speed over the target and drop marines. Things like that. Okay, let's see, confirm. The annoying thing is because I didn't do this the first time, I don't know why the price has gone up, but yeah, it's costing me more this time to build a ship. Oh well. And that's going to take 14 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a while. And then I have to send it to Mon Calamari so I can then put new shields on it, got to mod it, and then hopefully find something to blow up. <laughs> and 
and some point I want to be able to oh. hey Ken Frost thanks for the raid so I'm doing something a bit different I'm playing Star Wars the Star Wars mod eventually I'll get back to my actual X4 playthrough because I do want to go and try to do that like I have a few plans for that but yeah I've been enjoying this so be playing it and I just bought a dreadnought what you how did you lose your ramming speed e emote that's crazy and hey crow how goes it? Alright, while I'm waiting for my dreadnought to be built, I'm just checking out what other ships I can buy. Currently don't have the money to buy them, but... Just thought I'd have a look. Yeah, not fair enough. And I'll see you some probably your next stream or something. I'll see you. Anyway, have a good night, Kanan. Yeah, so I got a, quite a few ships I can buy. Maybe because I was grinding over the weekend so I could get all my reputation up enough to buy these ships. Man, this ship's ugly. I also don't think it's that good a ship from memory. I think last time I looked, this ship was pretty rubbish. Because it's a ship, I think it's twice the size of a Never B frigate, but barely better than it. Or it's actually exactly just almost the same. Anyway, the XL ships is where all the good ships are anyway. Like the good old MC-75 from Rogue One. It's kind of an interesting ship because it's got a ton of broadside guns which really do I can't remember if they can shoot forward in this mod or not, but... Yeah, in theory it's a broadsider. And it costs 61 million. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. That's the only problem. All these big ships. I cannot afford them. Because I've been spending all my money on building stations. So I could get my reputation up. Oh, right. orders. Wait, you can't buy this ship? Aw, oh, man. Have to see if there's someone else who sells it. Because I think this is the biggest ship in the mod. It's a good old home one MC-80. Do you still have the Xenon to worry about? Uh, no. It's, they've completely redone the map. So there's no Xenon, there's no Kark, there is a replacement for the Kark. And I swear every time I say that name I pronounce it differently. Kark, Kak, Kuk, I don't know. 
Um, yeah, there's a replacement. The race called the Vong, and there's one of the stations off in this sector where I have one of my stations. I'm planning to blow them up because I'm kind of fed up of them attacking my freighters. So that's one thing I'm going to do when I eventually get the dreadnought built, which is in eight minutes. Uh, yeah, they've completely redone the map. It's entirely new. And it's absolutely huge as well. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just some of the fashion spaces look as big as the entire X4 map. They've also started adding their own station modules. Um, so this station here has got these new dock modules. I've also bought some other ones like Imperial Control Center. Ooh, that's lagging my thing. I think that might need optimizing. I can't actually, I might have to just yeah, I can't. <laughs> it's lagging my computer getting that into the thing. Uh, that's um, the Imperial Defense Platform or Admin Center. I think all Imperial Admin Center, Bridge, Top. De actually, Top Defense is a different thing. So, this is another thing. I don't know if it's just this station's lagging because it's big. Uh, yeah, so they've added some structures. That is really the worst station look at them because it seems to just lag. <laughs> Which makes me hesitant to go into that sector now. I hope it's not going to be that bad but yeah, you never know. That a that's a Vong fighter in this sector. I might go blow that up. So yeah, this is the replacement for the Kark. It's not the best lighting in this sector. They're basically organic kind of ships. They're from... Um, Old Star Wars Expanded Universe. And apart from that I don't know too much about them because I never read the books they were in. I gotta admit I wasn't too interested in those books at the time. Kind of interesting if they made it so you could play as the Vong. I mean, there's no reason why they're um, kind of humanoid race, just be a lot of effort adding their ships, I would think. Also, they have weird shield mechanics for memories, they actually don't use shields in the law, they use um black holes, so they have miniature black holes which absorb the gu laser fire. Container. And the ships kind of look like coral. But they pretty much only have one fighter in this mod right now. And the defense, their um, beacons are basically the Xenon 
one of the Xenon structures from the base game. When I eventually go to destroy this one, we'll get a good look at it. But I don't want to go in the sector until I have to, just because their fighters are a lot better when you're in sector, so they have a habit of destroying my ships. Actually, you might check out this station. See if it Thank you. does Just lag the game horribly when I go in sector. I haven't checked it out in person. Because I've... When I started building it, I was all the way over here. So... Pretty big travel just to go visit a station. You don't need to. And this is my starting ship. Technically I've lost it once or twice, but I reloaded the save because I wanted to keep it. Jump beacon, jump completed, Bill Alt. But I kinda like it. It's got a tyrant, two lasers. It actually seems reasonably good at dodging fire. Which has saved me a few times. And yeah, originally appeared in Revenge of the Sith. It's like in the opening battle. Okay, that and that's why you shouldn't look at your ship while flying. Because you crash into an asteroid. And I never learned my lesson. VCX on hundred. I think BH is bounty hunters. Yeah, it is. So apparently, there's a bounty hunter after that escort the vendor Corvette. <laughs> I don't know how this battle would go, but I look a bit horribly for Bounty Hunter. <laughs> it's not even getting the shields down. And the ship the Bounty Hunter is flying is a ship from Star Wars Rebels. Um, which is called the Ghost in Rebels, but the ship's model is something like VCX-100. It's actually kind of really like the ship. It just doesn't, um, <laughs> it doesn't perform too well, I think, in the mod, because it's just got two guns on it. That and this one's fighting a giant corvette, but whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, that fight's going to end up with that VCX-100 dying. There's no way I can defeat the Defender. Factory. 
Yeah, this is my biggest station I've built so far in the mod. It's probably a waste of money as well. Because it cost me a cup maybe twenty million to build it, maybe more. And I doubt it's gonna make back that money anytime soon. It's kind of got this missing section up here because I'm eventually planning to do something like put a admin center up here. So I left space for it, but yeah, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. But it's pretty much supposed to be a combination of a defense platform and a scrap processing plant. So it's got a, quite a few guns. It's got a lot of um, landing platforms, which are the new ones included in the mod, which unfortunately don't connect well with um, the X4 modules. Like <laughs> this platform is not at all connected. Oops. Docking granted. Yeah, <laughs> so that doesn't work too well, unfortunately. But they're still kind of neat. Because you can fly through. And I've got a few landing pads here. Okay, and they have the um, trade corner. Which is something I haven't seen before because the initial release of 0.6, for some reason, the trade corners got missed out and they added it in a later patch. But since most of the stations I visited were from the initial re release, they hadn't been updated because that's how the game goes. If they're already built, they end up with whatever they had when they were built. And they also have some M size pads on the top. Oh, and turrets. Which is something normal landing platforms don't have. So, yeah, they have two, looks like two large pads. Oh, no, they actually have six. And the Dreadnought's finished. So I'm hoping the Mon Calamari shipyard, the shields I have will be better than what I have on the Dreadnought. And so it looks like I don't have an option to put Mon Calamari shields on it, so... Oh well. Either way, I'll send it down there because it's um, the closest one to Lothal. Defender Corvette. Is that Defender Corvette? No, it looks like its shields are still up. Just now that I'm not looking at it, the um, Bounty Hunter's doing slightly better. Just trying to work out if there's any fights going on. Kinda doesn't look like there is.
Jump beacon, won't I? Currently I'm not at war with many factions. I think it's just literally the Independence Commerce Guild, who's these bluish purple guys. And possibly just the Vong. I'd have a few ships down here, but that's not gonna help. Actually, let's have a look. So yeah, Independence Commerce Guild. Unknown threat, but they're just generic mission things. And the uh, Vong. I eventually want to go to war with either both Imperial factions or one of them. But currently got good relations with the Galactic Empire, so... At least initially it will probably be Imperial Ascendancy. Jump completed. Launcher. I have a feeling the CSA might have cleared out a lot of stuff in this sector. I might be wrong, but... Actually, I'm probably am wrong. <laughs> Just look at all the stations which have appeared once they're pinged. Oh no, CSA factory. CSA defense platform. Obviously, there must be a unknown station. Commerce Guild station somewhere around because otherwise this sector should have switched. Corporate sector authority. Yeah, it looks like they've basically Unknown taken over this sector. I haven't been down here in ages and while I was elsewhere, they um yeah took over the sector. That's wouldn't surprise me if that's the last defense station. One stopping the sector from switching. And so it doesn't look like a defense station, so it possibly isn't. Nope, that's the ship technology. It is one the unknown station. Commerce Guild station. Kind of hope they do manage to push back because I've had a few good fights. And if they get beaten back by the CSA. Just means less fights for me. Oh yeah, there's the defense platform. Unfortunately, I don't think they have any combat ships in the sector. Defense platform. At least I haven't seen any. One ship. I'm sure that will. I'm sure that will defeat all the CSA forces. Yeah, I have a feeling this defense platform. Nah, it looks alright, but I have a feeling it's not going to be able to stop the CSA, especially if they send in a few of their big ships. By the look, they've only sent one in, which means the station should be fine, but... Oops, and I should pay attention. Because I'm about to be shot at. It's spaced. You're making a big mistake. I really shouldn't fight one of these in this fighter. Was that shot some kind of I can joke? actually... I can beat them. 
They're just a bit of a pain because they have a ton of turrets on them. Yeah, case in point. <laughs> They're a small ship with lots of guns. You fight like an art now. And basically I have to use torpedoes to take them out. So yeah, I have to watch out. Can't afford to let them hit me when my shields are down. Actually, this ship's pretty tough, so I can take a few hits. It's spaced. You'll regret that. Okay, so. Almost took them out. Problem is, I'm gonna have to go and rearm now. Oh, they they ejected. Excellent. Do I risk taking it? I think the answer is yes. Okay, there's the signal leak. I think around here. There it is. That's right. This one has a weird thing where the signal leak just um floats. Arc 170. I'm gonna pause and send my Arc 170 out of here. Maybe dock at the equipment dock. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, that was bad. You're dead now. Yep, okay. So... This... has probably gone bad. If I start getting laser fire, before I get on board that ship, I'm going to teleport. Come on, come on. Oh. Okay, I'm teleporting. I might be too late, which means going to have to reload. Yep, too late. <laughs> uh, that was a bad idea. If I hadn't got caught in my ship's wake, Or on the surface, I would have been fine. I would have had enough time to get on that ship, get out of there. But unfortunately I got dragged off by my ship and should have just went, nope, teleporting. Back onto my ship. <laughs> unfortunately this means I also have to rebuild the dreadnought. Which is going to be a pain. I really need to find where the background images are stored. Want to add some more? And so, for some reason, 
it seems to always get stuck on this image because there's at least one or two more images which yeah I don't know it just doesn't seem to want to go past this image but I wouldn't mind adding some more background images just so whenever I have to load I have a bit more images to look at do you wonder if you can put a video as a background image actually talking about videos I finally got a YouTube channel up I haven't actually uploaded much well anything really I've uploaded a short video which I needed for entering the competition but so I've done but I'm planning to put at least the Star Wars streams up on there considering how long it's taken me to actually do it I'll probably just send them there unedited because then all I have to do is log into Twitch and yes publish them from there but yeah I do have a YouTube finding and I don't think I've set up a command to link it But it is in my profile somewhere, I think. That's the wrong link. Just trying to find it. There we go. But yeah, as I said, there's only one video currently on there. And I pretty much did that just because I need something for a competition. Okay, so now I have to go back and... Oh no, I'm at Coruscant as well. Okay, I, two things I need to do. I need to buy the Dreadnought. And I also need to get back to Mon Calamari, which I might cheat and just have my ship take me there. I'll wait for you to tell me to take off. A wing RZ1. Why did I go? The ship will be undocking soon. Can I help? Anyway, this guy is going to take me there. Kind of like when you stand in, the, find it funny when you stand in the back of this ship. Um, yeah, your head kind of pokes through the top because these ships aren't designed for having walkable interiors. They're supposed to be single-seat fighters, <laughs> which means yeah, many of them don't quite work right, at least with the interior. And I think they had to make concessions so the ships are actually scaled up from their size from the movies and such. But you don't really notice because everything's to scale so it doesn't matter. Jump 
completed, Palani. Uh, thanks for subscribing to YouTube and congratulations on being the first subscriber. I'm not too surprised though, I haven't exactly advertised it. Alright, it's been on my profile for a week or two, or maybe longer, I can't remember when I made it. But I haven't actually mentioned it at all until today. And hopefully me mentioning it means I'll actually go and put up my um, X4 streams. Oh, I can't buy this yet. I just remembered I need to transfer some money around first. And I forgot I had the stream, I actually had the game running a bit before the stream, so I actually have less money than I did. But, just means I have to put some of this, one of my stations under budget. Doesn't really matter, they're entirely dependent on their subordinates to give them money, so it doesn't matter. They don't need the money to buy Jump stuff. Completed. Oh, the good thing about having to redo the ship. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, I still don't have enough money. Anyway, the good thing is it looks like it's going to be cheaper. Jump completed. It's annoying Bargain. that I have to. Put my stations under budget. Or take orders. it from the budget of them. Okay, 13, that should be enough. Awaiting orders. I'm going to save myself some hassle if I just, um, I'd say to save the loadout. Actually, I might do that because I'll probably want to build more than one of these later. So Jump let's just call completed. it completed. Orson. Jump completed. Orson. Yeah, so <laughs> quite a long journey. Down here in Corson, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I might just go to this sector here. I don't need to go up to Moncal, at least not right now. Jump completed, Vandermeer. And from memory, Another thing I had to do because I missed had because I reloaded the game. I have to go buy some modular what is it modular prefabs yeah and stick it on my station here. Jump 
defeated, Selenon. Anything interesting on the way? Mining guild? Nope. Equipment dock. Income shipyard. I might go to the income shipyard just to check how much it's going to cost to buy a ship equipment license. Because then I can buy X wings. <laughs> Without having to go all the way to New Republic space to buy it in. And I kinda wanna try out this X Wing because Jump it's completed. Fendar. It's an interesting design and I think it's slightly better than the actual X Wing. Like the normal X Wing. Yeah, don't ha don't have any interesting M-sized ships. And occasionally, when you escape out the menu, there's a pause. Hopefully, it's not crash because that'd be annoying. No nope, good. Oh yes, occasionally I've noticed that when you get out of a shipbuilding menu. The game will pause, like it just did then. Not sure what causes it, but every time it happens, I'm just like, oh no, has the game crashed? Actually, that's a good thing. I don't think I've encountered a single crash in this version of the mod. The previous version, when I zoomed out from the map, it would crash, but this one it doesn't. Jump completed. Look, they should add the R2 sound effects when going through the gates and in combat. Yeah, that could be neat. Um, this ship doesn't have an asteroid droid, so it feel a bit weird having it. But yeah, it would be. That could be an interesting thing. They do have it when you receive a message for memory. I... Yeah, so... When you get a message, I think you get the sound. Yeah, I don't think the droids make any sound otherwise. Jump completed. And Alamos. let me have a guess. <laughs> I just went past the income shipyard. TR7DM Jump Beacon Look as it Jump completed Look as it Okay, so they don't have a representative here. Okay, I wonder how you get their ships then. Do I have to build my reputation with them? Or do they have a representative somewhere else? Ladies and gentlemen, stay 
is someone I can ask. Like Hello. Sending you information now. Um. Okay. A wing RZ one. Jump beacon, Fendar. So where is it leading me to? Oh, there's another income wharf. How long until my dreadnoughts complete? Seven minutes. Okay, got time. Man, that's still a bit of travelling. Um, Cat, how did you just port it's the game? Jump completed, Fendar. Jump beacon, Selenum. Jump completed, Selenon. Ah oh man, the cat knows how to be annoying. Just sat on my mouse then. Jump beacon, Bandamir. So one thing I'm hoping is that there's a way to get advanced transporter tech. Because currently you can only teleport one system away, which means there is a lot of travelling I have to do. And so in some respects it's kind of good that it doesn't have like the global transport, just because it encourages jump, jump you to stick to one area for a while. But when you have to go travel somewhere else it's a bit annoying. And this is one of my fastest ships. I actually found a... end up buying a faster ship. Apparently the tugs are really fast. Like the salvaged tugs. Their base speed I think is basically the same travel speed as this ship. So I'm seriously contemplating buying one of them, modding it and having it as my travel ship. Well, until I find something which goes even faster. Jump completed, Orson.
Okay, two jumps away. And Dreadnought is three minutes away. <laughs> Wait until it hits the open fire button when you're trying to chat with someone for a mission. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Actually, I don't... So far I think the cat's avoided hitting the fire button. Somehow, Jump somehow it's that, managed to do that. Which is weird since it's spacebar. It's like the biggest button on the keyboard and somehow it doesn't hit it. Hits every other button, does who knows what, but never f manages to hit the fire button. Jump beacon, Ovuri XN. Jump completed, Ovuri XN. So what's going on over here? Got New Republic. That was a bad thing. Mandalorian Death Watch. Well, I don't want to go throw that up because I'm trying to get it on their good side. And so they really only have maybe three ships I want the Mandalorians to. They have their fighter. They have a Corvette, which I think is alright. And they have a big battleship. It's probably going to be a while before I end up getting my reputation up with them. Because it costs time and money to do that. And reputation in the mod isn't as simple as, you know, just building up your rep by doing missions and destroying stuff. Um, there's actually a message explaining it. So, yeah. So there's requirements to become or have different levels or citizenship in each major faction. So, for example, Galactic Empire. To be a resident, which just gives you military ship licenses, you need a production station and credit transaction of 50k. For a citizen, you need credit transaction of a min, and I think that credit transaction is actually from your station and POS, I'm not sure if it's includes transactions from people buying really stuff from your station or if it's just your station's selling. Unfortunately I don't think there's a way to check in game. But either way, you need to have credit transactions on your station of a million dollars or credits and they'll give you advanced module licenses so I think that's just basically certain production modules possibly defense modules shipyards, wharfs, that sort of stuff and military you need which gives you military access for capital ship licenses and for that so, Galactic Empire's credits transactions 5 million and a frontier defense station. So, it's yeah, it just takes a while. Or, in the case of New Public, you need two defense stations, frontier defense stations, and corporate sector's actually easier because you just need credit transactions. Beggars are operating oh, yeah. on this factory. It's a bit more complex. Please do not encourage these professional beggars. 
If you have and any spare credits, yeah. please. Hello. <laughs> um, apparently, that person decides to say hello after a message about beggars. Suspicious. And yeah, then you have these minor factions like Income. Actually, they're more corporations and greetings. Instead of doing the whole thing to get your reputation up, you can just buy the licenses. I think actually, no, no, you can probably just buy them. So military ship access is three million. I'm kind of curious what the unique ship access gives you. Because if that's required for the XJ X-Wing, that's kind of what I want. Goodbye. Because that's what I want to buy from here. I think there's only one way to find out. So, X-Wing's military ships, access, unique ship. Yeah, the XJ is unique. Kind of sucks it's 5 million because it's just for one ship and <laughs> I don't know if it's really worth it also not sure how much credits I have I do have enough though to do it because yeah stations have a reasonable amount of funds in them Not going to take much out of the Bastion Refined Goods Complex just because it doesn't really earn much money. Problem is, I probably need Greetings. to buy both licenses to actually kit out the ship. But one way to find out. Oh no, actually, no, I can just buy this, this, done. Goodbye. And that should work. Oh, there's a, um... Luka Hulk. Probably the biggest ship in the mod. Not the longest, just the biggest. Like, it's as big as this session. <laughs> that, that's insane. Yeah, let's see. X, J, X Wing. I'll probably change the shields later. Actually, I don't think I can buy it right now because I spent my money. Maybe if I make it bare bones. But, yeah. I can buy it later. Do you want to have a look at this Lucra Hulk? A -wing RZ1. Just because they're gigantic. And I've so far only seen the freighter version in the game. Wouldn't mind getting one of these in game. But I think the only way that's going to happen is if I steal it. Because the one faction that I know that produces these ships, I'm enemy with. And I don't think I've actually seen them produce any of these, which is weird as well. Oh yeah, they have a ton of Oh wow, that's a lot of fighters there. Yeah. yeah, they have a ton of fighters. Actually, that's um... Looks like it's kind of a new... landing pad or something. They've, oh no, no, they've just sunk it slightly into the ground. That's what they've done. Oh, 
not sure if you can... <laughs> I see a boarding mission in your future, exactly. Actually, there's a few ships which I probably won't be able to get that... I'm going to try boarding. It does have a medium pad, which is good since it's a really huge ship. And really could actually fit a couple of medium ships in if I wanted to do that. Yeah, I didn't think any of these side bays were accessible. At some point, I'll steal one of these. I actually hope I find the military version of one of these to steal. LH-30 to 10 freighter. Like, freighter will be alright. Just use it on my stations, but... Asteroid. One with actual guns would be better. Oh man, it's always trippy when you get out of that seat, <laughs> just sends you flying up in the air, and you come dropping back down. So I'm g gonna, if my pilot ever appears, just gonna order this to. Can I help? Go dock at that shipyard, and why that's happening, I'm gonna go feed the cats because they're kind of hovering around me. Probably because it's their feeding time. So yeah, I'll be back short. Orson.
completed, Selenum. Completed, Findar. Completed. Look as it. And I'm back and let's just see how far the ship's gone. So still a few jumps away. The good thing is the dreadnought should be finished. Just gonna order it down to Mon Calamari. Gonna mod it, then gonna go blow up this long armed beacon. Jump completed, Columics. And if I'm lucky, there'll be some fighting going on down in these sectors. Or at least enough that there's something to shoot at. And so if that defense platform gets far enough, I might be able to go blow that up. It's going to take a bit of time for the dreadnought to get down, so I might probably shouldn't fly around in this ship, but I might go blow up that fighter. Like this ship should be fast enough to get away if I'm biting off more than I can chew. And at least if the ship blows up I can teleport to the station up here. That is if that ship doesn't get blown up before I get to it. You may live to regret that. You don't stand hey, in hey, Stop firing. Help! I 
I've got you now. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Somehow, that's what I thought would happen. Like, I don't like fighting this ship too much just because it's really maneuverable, so unless you're doing very controlled movements, sometimes it feels like you can't aim that well. But it works alright. That's the main thing. Plus, it's pretty much my um, default long distance travel ship. Well, until I try out a tug. Because I think not that one, that engine. <laughs> oh wow, it's actually faster. So yeah, travel speed of 8,494 and when I mod that, that's probably going to be close to 9,000. So I have to build one of these and just try it out at some point. Actually I might just build it now. Pretty sure this I don't really care too much about. Don't like docking computer mark twos because occasionally you get sucked back into docking thing when you don't want to. I've had that happen at least once while playing off stream. Which was very annoying. I literally launch and then a second later the docking computer mark two takes over and hands me back down on the pad. Anyway, if I don't like the ship, I can just use it as another tug ship for my salvage operation over here. Which is actually the other reason I wanted to blow up that fighter. Thank you. Because the more salvaged, the better. Okay, it looks like I can go head Awaiting off orders. to the shipyard now. Jump beacon, Belalt. Actually, I think the dreadnought's going to beat me to the shipyard, which is good. I mean, if I need to, I can just teleport to it. Because there'll be one system away once the fruit is skate. Jump completed. No alt. Actually, no, I'm going to beat it to the shipyard just because it's taking ages to get it away from the gate. Go Zenti my jump beacon, Mon Calamari. Might see if it's got a docking bay. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I was safe. 
but there's a tiny bit poking out. Jump completed. Long Kalamari. Dreadnought class cruiser. Oh no, it beat me. I was wrong. Is that upside? I think that's upside down. That's weird. Obviously that docking pier is upside down. Docking granted. How oh, good, it has a docking bay. I probably won't keep the fighter on here though. Yes, because if the Dreadnought gets destroyed, I don't want the fighter to get destroyed with it. Oops, didn't want to undock, I wanted to get up. Docking granted. Man, that's still trippy when it does that. Awaiting orders! Wonder if I can make dad jump. You know, I don't think you're supposed to though. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad oh. idea. Anyway. To get around when you're in these sort of docking things where you're not actually landed on something, you just use the fast travel to option. Ah, uh, it's one of the ships with the um, original game bridges. That's a shame. I suppose it's kind of fair enough because it's a lot of effort to add bridges. Still a nice view. Get to see the back of the ship. Actually, while I'm here, might as well just have a look at some of my other ships I've got. So. This ship was a salvage ship, a ship I salvaged. I'm pretty sure at the end of the last stream, this I I fought this ship and it bailed. I, it's just actually off stream is when I captured it. Kind of neat little corvette. God, I think, I think it's two guns plus two torpedo launchers and six turrets, like anti-fired turrets. So it's reasonably armed, and I think it has corvette-sized shields. So it's got the instant re shield regen, which a lot of the smaller M ships don't have. Then we got Shuttlecraft, which has um, Orlean Star Shuttle. Some person in the floor. Excellent. It's also got interesting view. I almost think that should be the pilot seat. Actually, can you even see out of this? Okay, you can. But yeah, it's interesting bridge. Actually, it reminds me of a ship I want to get. Um, you can buy the Naboo 
yacht from the episode one, Phantom Menace. It's one of the faster ships. It has no guns, which is the only reason I haven't bought it. And it's reasonably cheap. Actually, I can afford it right now, so I might just... Since I've been wanting to buy it, I might just buy it. Alright, depending on how much I... Ooh, actually, travel speed, base, 7,700. Okay, this might end up being my new, just, travel places ship. Because once it's modded, it's going to be fast. Only problem, no guns. That's the only problem. So I have to get some ships positioned around the galaxy so I can do missions. And I have to order that to come over to this side of the galaxy. Let's see, any place I can get a bit of money from. Yeah, unfortunately, my stations don't make huge amounts of money in a short time. And Dreadnought. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else here. Don't know why those doors are off. Thingy. They're kind of misaligned. Actually, it didn't show it outside of the ship, but... There's not much to it, it's just kind of a capsule shape with engines on the back. And it's just a freighter, so that's pretty much what I use it for. Let's see, ship, dealership is what I want to do. Because I want to see what I can mod on this dreadnought. So, from memory, max additional hour plating reduces the speed of the ship. So, oh no, reduces acceleration. That's. I'm actually fine with that. Um, I'll just dismantle it. I'm kind of glad I got a bit more cash. So 37 compared to 32. Yeah, should be fine. Um, let's see. Ford Frost is, I think, that one I want. Unlike the base game, mods are just basically fixed numbers, so 15% forward thrust, but engine boost minus 20, travel mode minus 10, which doesn't really matter actually, because travel mode still goes up in number because of the increased speed, and you don't really want to use boost on a capital ship. Because it doesn't really do much <laughs> and just drains your shields. So, I'm thinking I might do shield capacity because the shields aren't the best on this ship, but the recharge rate looks alright. Depends how much it reduces the recharge rate. So if I install it, it takes yeah, it takes about 140 I think it was off. And adds a bit more shields. So I think that's good. 
don't think there's anything else I want to mod. Oh wait, I was gonna see what the additional armor is like when you got... So, I know it's gonna reduce the acceleration to 32. The question is, do I need to really do that? The sh ship's already got 800 and something. Whoops. I think I already had it installed anyway. Yeah, okay, so... Actually, the engine mod I did brought the acceleration back up, so it's all good. Got highest max speed, acceleration's the same, thanks to the engine mod. Travel speed, it's fine. It's a big ship, doesn't matter. Got more hull points, got more shield points. I'm kind of tempted to make my dual turbolasers have longer range. I'm just trying to figure out how much range I'd get if I did do that. So, damage, surface, cooling, projectile, speed, lifetime. So it adds 10% to the lifetime. I think the range is 7. So it adds 700 meters, I think, to the range. But it does reduce the damage by 10%. So it's going to lose 100 damage or so. Actually, I think it's 160 it loses. For a slight bit of range. Kind of wish you could actually see the stats of the turret. Because, as far as I know... There's no way to tell how much the range and speed have been affected by the mod. You just have to try to use your um, math skills to try to figure it out. Like, would a 20% increase in projectile speed be equivalent to a 10% lifetime, or would it be a greater boost? Would it mean that it has even better range? I don't know. And I can't be bothered trying to figure out the mass for it. I, it's not too hard, it's something like speed times, lifetime gives you the range. So I'd have to go see what the speed is, what the lifetime is, and then you figure out the range based on that. And considering I'm not good at maths in my head, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so, its projectile speed is 2,300 meters a second, so 2.3 kilometers. Effective range is 7.1, so it doesn't give you the lifetime. So to do that, you'd have to actually use maths to figure out the lifetime. All fun. I suppose that's why there's calculators on phones. I do it on the computer, but every time you tab out of X4, it um, kind of loses sound. Not that that would matter with that annoying chirping sound. <laughs> so, lifetime... Yeah, that can't be right. 
Yeah, that's not right. I did that. I was just like, 323 seconds does not sound right. So... 2.3 divided by, I think, 7.1 gives the lifetime is 0 0.32 of a second times 1.2 to give 20% 3.8 times 2.3 89 so if that's right Which I think it's not. I think something went wrong with my master. Yeah, no, something. went horribly wrong with my master. Okay, uh, yep. <laughs> I'm. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't do that. I can't be bothered with the weapon mod then. But either way, the ships should be good enough as it is now. So I'm going to... Where's that A-wing? Ah, oh, it's docked on the wharf. Good. So I think I'm just going to bring this in here. And so I might try to get rid of some of these fighters before I come in. Just because I know as soon as I get close enough, those fighters are going to d absolutely destroy my freighters. Or mining chips, actually, but... Either way. Out of sector, they're not too bad. In sector, yeah, they tend to be pretty dangerous. It also means that I might be able to have some of my ships escorted. Actually, I might have my Ark 170. Actually, no, I have my X-Wing. I have my X-Wing docked to the Dreadnought. Because I don't... In some respects, I don't want to risk for Ark. It's my beginning ship. I like keeping my beginning ship alive <laughs> as long as I can. Which means at some point, I'm going to buy a second Ark just so I can fly it out and around instead. Might rename this to Arc 117. The beginning. That way, in the future, I know that that's the one I started with. I still think it's weird that <laughs> that docking pine is upside down. Yep, a nice casual roll. Acclimator 1 X Wing T 65B. Yep. 
Let's let this dock onto the ship before I go into travel drive. Oh, I was hoping the wings would fold, but it kind of makes sense. Um, just because the game probably has folding wings for landing, but because it's going in one of these bays, it doesn't do its landing animation. Jump beacon, Lothal. Those engines are bright. Jump completed. Yuzhan Long Armed Beacon. Defender Corvette. Kind of confused how it is. We'll go with me actually watching them. But the look of it horrible. <laughs> yeah, these fighters I found I have Breeze me nasty when you're in sector. Requesting out of sector, not so much. Alright, these are pretty small corvettes. We were hit. I might just stop watching it because it's gonna die if I keep watching. <laughs> it is the crazy thing though that just the difference between if you're nearby, or if you're out of s between, if you're out of sector, or, or just in sector but far away, it's just yeah. I kind of hope they find a better way to simulate, but I also understand it's kind of hard to have a complex simulation when you have to do entire galaxy. Or thousands and thousands of ships. And so I'm hoping the Dreadnought at least can tank 
on a few of those fighters. Otherwise, goodbye Dreadnought. Why I'm thinking of it, save. But at least I think I'm at the stage where if I do lose the Dreadnought, I'm not just going to go reload the save. Unless, of course, I die. Completely. In which case, I have no choice. But yeah, I'm at the stage where I have the infrastructure that I can get the money to buy another ship. So much better when I'm not there. I think the only thing is it takes longer for them to destroy the fighters. Okay, if I was to do in sector combat against the Vong, I'd probably go for a different ship and the Defender Corvettes, maybe an actual proper corvette it's because they should have enough shields and guns oh no this was a bad idea I need to get out of here. I think I've lost this ship. Well, it was worth a try. Like, the shields are... I need to do a slight angle. A bit more. I don't want them to destroy my engines. But I also have to try to get out of range. Uh, let's see, change turbo lasers to attack capital ships, lasers to attack fighters. I mean, this. I might be fine. I don't know. Because, look, I've already blown up one module. My shields aren't doing great. Maybe angle up a slight bit. I might get a few more missed shots if I do that. This ship's too big, I think, to... Dodge shots. Thanks for your roll. Okay, looks like I'm out of range, so I might just set these all to attack fighters. Just take out these fighters attacking me first. What the? Okay, that was weird. I have a late Oops, a cannon on them. Okay, I'm back in. I need to get to the so yeah, this ship doesn't have good enough shields, it looks like. But it really did do a job in that station. Oh, there goes an engine. That's what I was afraid of. That laser, whatever it is, really worries me. And if I can get this out of range... That is... Okay, there's something I think Egosoft needs to fix. If you're not facing towards the laser, you don't always see them. So yeah, it's firing now. Turn, you can see it. But turn away enough, you can't see it. Um, that needs fixing. This ship's gonna die. 
I think I'm going to order it to... Where am I? I'm here. What I'm going to do is order it to fly... I can't do that because I'm piloting. Well, we'll see. If I get down low enough, I'm going to jump out on the X-Wing. The problem is that laser is basically ruining my day. Okay, so this is probably a good time to go to the X-Wing. Gonna order the Dreadnought to fly away. What's that other order it has? But the Dreadnought's gone. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Let's just set flee escape as its default response to attack for now. See, and I think that's undock. <laughs> yep, I just got up there in time. Thanks for your own. Awaiting orders. Okay, so I bit off more than I could chew. That's kind of what I expected would happen, but not as bad as that was. The station just being ripped through the shields. And the only reason it survived as long as it did because of its haul point. So I think if I want to take one of those on, I even need a ship with bigger range. Yeah, keep moving. Oh good. They're not fighting anymore, so I can go that direction. Or I need a ship with bigger shield. Because if I had, probably if I had as much shields as I had all points, I might have survived that, especially if I had greater recharge. Not sure if the fighters are still following me or not. They are, they've got a surprise waiting for them. And hopefully I don't lose all these ships as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a few ships here. Why is one of the turrets on this damaged? Asteroid. I have to remember to send this to the shipyard at some point. I actually kind of want to change these, possibly these top turrets, or maybe the bottom turrets, to longer range turbo lasers. Actually, I might do the bottom ones. That would make more sense. Because I get more long range turbo lasers that way. That end. Eureka. If I angle right, I get more guns on target. Oh, they're attacking my um, freighter. So that freighter's gonna die because I'm too close. But, you know what? It's gonna go fight stuff.
You're wrecking my shield. Get out of here. Well, at least one fighter is off my cargo ship. And he's just taken a lot of firepower to take out. And overheated my lasers. Come on. If I get bored, I'm just going to launch a torpedo at them. I almost got it. One. You're right dead. Okay. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, will I get there in time? I don't think so. Oh, I might have just got saved my ship. Man, that's an insane amount of fighting ships put this up. You're right dead. I kind of wish the game, base game, had. Uh, I'm trying to think what the word for it, but. The ability to have your fires, your lasers fire um, asynchronously or whatever it is. So instead of just firing all at once, awaiting they, orders. Psych. You can cycle how they'll fire, so maybe they'll fire two at a time, or one at a time. I think that'll be nice for the base game. Orders. And obviously this mod, because it worked perfectly with X-Wings. So, did I save my freighter? Yes, Benny. <laughs> it has... What's its whole point? I need to send it to get repaired, so... Let's see. Oh. 3% haul left. Is that a... No, that's the wrong tab. Demonstrator present, one calamari. Okay, no, I don't want to do that mission. I was hoping there was a patrol vis sector mission. Like if I had two dreadnoughts when I attacked the station, I might have got a bit better. But if I Thanks had bought two dreadnoughts, I could probably have bought a Victory Star Destroyer, which has long-range turbo lasers. Oh, I think it does. Definitely has more shields, which is what I needed in that fight. Oh, well, at least I got the Triad the X-Wing and the Dreadnought. I have to buy a new Dreadnought over. Jump completed. Long Calamari. I did like the firepower on that. I just go to Bunta and see if I can shoot some stuff up. And so I need to visit a equipment dock first. Because I need to replenish my missiles. Yeah, I kind of like the X-Wing. From my previous experience flying this, I think the only thing I found, actually two things which make Star better than this fighter. One was the torpedo load. This thing only goes six. The Ark has 14. I think this one only goes six. Either way, it's less torpedoes. And for some reason, it felt like it was easier to hit this ship. Or because, yeah, I could dodge better with the Ark than I can with this Jump ship. Completed. No alt. Actually, where is my Ark? One camera. I should order it to dock at my scrap facility. Because then I know it's ready to go and fight stuff. Oh wow, it's going to be a while before I can 
get a dreadnought again. If I could actually sell a lot of my inventory, I'd be good. But the problem is, for some reason, you can't... Well, I think it's a base game problem as well, but you can't sell things like decryption modules, or at least I haven't been able to find a place to sell them. And that's where a lot of my um, infantry Jump value is Jump. from. Like I have a couple of me in, in decryption, security modules, I think some other sort of legal wear like that. And so I don't think it's illegal anywhere in the mod. Or at least I haven't been haven't got in trouble for carrying him yet. point I need to find out how much it's going to cost to buy our production modules. Equipment dock. And so with the Wolf one, I'll probably buy the Green Peel version just Docking because rented. it's one of the new station modules in the game. And it's kind of, I actually kind of like it. It's similar to the other docking module. But it has more hangers, and they also are a bit more like the Death Star hanger. Except they're instead of just having one entrance, have two, so they're through hangers. We found something out here. Damn it! <laughs> That's Hello. another swing T sixty five B. That's something else I'd love to have fixed up in this game. When you're docked like this and you get a message, it should display the message. It's unfortunately can be very annoying when you just sunny dock and then you lose track of what someone just said to you. Camera measure. Yep, that's all good. Might just pick up this demonstrator present patrol mission. I knew I could count on you. Um, is there anything worth fighting though in there right now? The answer is one ship. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go do that or not. Nah, it's going to probably die by the time I get there. Slightly annoying that this isn't so much of a war zone as it was my previous playthroughs. Like, I'd have huge fleets come through, but unfortunately, it looks like CSA had beaten back the uh, Commerce Guild. Like, I'm not too surprised since they haven't really been sending giant ships along. But. Jump beacon, launcher. Yeah, it still, still sucks because it has some good fights. At some point, I should probably just reduce the price of my gear steel and maybe the actually modular prefabs yeah that's probably the right price for them but gear steel I'd need to reduce the price 
And if they do that, that station actually might make some money. Which would be good, considering how much Jump I've spent on that. Won't tell. Unknown station. account yeah available cash for the x-wing xj x-wing oh yeah i have plenty all around or combat i like combat on my fighters I think that's... I can get better shields somewhere else. I don't like having shields with 12 second recharge. R4. Don't know if there's better droids. I think the KX7s are good ones. Launchers. Yep. Just a slightly better X Wing, so. Oh, that's interesting. Can only. Don't know if it's just this stock, but can only go long range scanners, Mark II, police scanner. Yeah, interesting. Eight torpedoes, pilot. Yep, okay, I'll buy that. Actually, just quick check. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any other engine options. Nope. Okay. So, once that's built, I have to send it to... Might actually just fly to it. Looks like it's about the same distance to that wharf compared to the Mon Calamari. So I can upgrade it. Because unfortunately you can't... Or at least Unknown I've never been able to find out how or where you can upgrade ships at equipment docks. As far as I know, you can only upgrade them at wharfs and shipyards. Basically, any place with a ship dealership. Unknown station. Which I gotta admit, I find a bit weird that you can't come do modding. Of ships at equipment docks. What do we have around this station? Got a SETI transport. I don't SETI think I could actually defeat one of those in the next wing by myself. Mainly because I'm not sure what its shield recharge is like. Gun-wise, I don't think it's a problem. And I might give it a go. Requesting immediate backup. Wait, where is it? Even... Okay, that's weird. I wasn't even shooting at the ship for a while. I think it might have just been my lasers were slightly off. So if I stay down the bottom, it can't shoot me. Just gotta watch out that there's no turbo lasers from the station up there. Speeders. Reveal 
I mean, if you bail for me ship, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> I didn't need to worry about that happening. It kind of got yes. smacked by a turbulence. Yeah, that station doesn't stand a chance. Oh, we've got a fighter coming in. New citizen. There's the R2 sound. So now I'm a citizen of the Anot, Anot, I don't know how you pronounce it, Federation. I think you might be right there. Hey, stop firing. These little ships are actually a bit of a pain to destroy. Mainly because I find half time your lasers completely miss it even if you feel like you're on the target sorry about that and I got completely wrecked by a turbo laser yeah can't wait until I get one of these ships that's gonna be a long time from now I think ship technology factory Kind of neat because it's got this big hangar here. Docking denied. Ooh, what the? I was not expecting that. It actually got a really good angle. Me. I thought I was safe in the hangar, but that um, yeah, came directly at the hangar entrance way. Stop your attack. Sorry, it's hard to hit this thing when it's spinning around me. Danger. Something's exploding. Oh, there's missiles. One of those two. Requesting immediate backup. Man, these Danger. lasers overheat too much. I think it survived. I may be able to pick that up. But not why there's a station nearby. Until that's destroyed, I am not going to try picking that fighter up. I don't want to repeat of earlier in the stream where I go to board the fighter and end up getting blown up. <laughs> I think so, that station looks pretty dead to me. It's got to be gone soon. If I had a freighter here, yeah, I could make a fortune of all these um, containers. Ah, uh, cat, stop doing that. So that's good. Yep, there, there's a new module. 
just got destroyed. I mean, that's the only problem with modules under construction. Container. Ship Technology Factory. So this station's pretty much doomed, so I'm... I think I'm gonna go... And... Find that XJ... X, go visit the Income Wharf and get that XJ, or... If it has built, that is. It has, good. I may grab the A-Wing, though, to do this. means... Oh, I can't teleport. I'm apparently too far away for the A-Wing. must be at one Katamari, so I might just... Just use the X-Wing. Actually, the X-Wing's pretty good. I have to compare it with the A-Wing speed. Because that's not too bad. Actually, talking about speedy ships, I need to... Where is it? Neutron. Did I actually buy it? Beginning action. Architects. Casualty. Lancer. Nubian. There we go. That's what we wanted. I'm going to send the Nubian to Mon Katamari. I'm hope and hopefully it makes it there. <laughs> Oops. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disengaged. I don't know if we'll see the newbie in this stream. Probably not. I think I'm going to have to end the stream soonish, so I'll probably just Don't be jump. go Pretty see good. this XJ, X Wing, mod it, and maybe fly it back, maybe, or maybe just call the stream there. I'm not sure. I think. I think I might just call the stream once I mod. XJ. And from memory, the J in the XJ stands for Jedi. So basically they were X-Wings made for Jedi's to use. Can't remember what was exactly special about them, that they might be faster. And newer. I think that's the main thing, they're newer than uh, X Wings from the original trilogy. Jump completed. Columnix. I think they were introduced in New Jedi Order. I don't know, it's whatever the books with the Vong are. About the Vong War. Because I think that's when they were introduced. As I said, I've never read the books, so. Most of my knowledge on anything there is from the wiki, Star Wars wiki, or things I've read over the years. And I've always had an interest in ships in Star Wars, so things like X-Wings, 
and other ships from that era. I know about, but yeah. <laughs> I just never read the actual books. You don't see the Jump completed. Look as it. It would just blew up, but it blew something up. So I'm gonna go container. pick up this container. Preferable. Docking aborted. Docking granted. Oops, that was a bad landing. Wait, where's it? It's having me Docking land. aborted. Oh, there was a fighter there. That's why I couldn't land there. Okay, come on, fly away. Docking granted. Docking aborted. Come on. Docking granted. Yeah, so the wings fold when you land. That's neat. Wait, what? Oh, the cargo bay opens. That's... I've never noticed that. I've got to admit I haven't really looked at the X-Wing in this version, so... I've just flown around a bit. So does this one open as well? No, it doesn't look like it does. I'm just going to check that my X-Wing doesn't have any... That's the XJ. Um, doesn't have any orders, so it doesn't fly off. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So now it's got no orders, it won't fly off. Um, how do I get out of... Oh, I see. That's why the hatch opens, so you can get out of the ship. Hello there. Oh, man. All the little things because this game wasn't designed for single-seat fighters. So yeah, X, J, X wing. I think the main difference is it's got these kind of rectangular engines with the weird triangle bit. Apart from that, it's pretty similar looking. X wing, X J three. Just have a quick look inside. Yeah, it looks like an X wing inside. Okay. Um. Okay, so this one, it looks like they need to fix the animations down here because you can't get out. <laughs> Good thing I have the X-Wing here. X-Wing T-65B. Anyway, so I'm going to go mod that ship and then probably end the stream. Pretty standard mod, just probably just gonna be engine mod. I don't tend to do other ones on fighters. Good mod deceleration, I don't know. So this is the X-wing. What's the XJ's acceleration like? Worse. And so my other X-wing is modded. So let's see. X-wing, XJ. Let's give it. Forward thrust, 418 acceleration, 415 sorry, 391, speed's nice. So it's got worse acceleration, better speed. Better travel. Like, yeah, it's, it's kind of is and kind of isn't a better x -ray. Like it's got worse shields, for whatever reason. Did I put a shield mod on this? 
No. Actually, no, I need to modify... I need to buy different shields. For the XJ, that's why it's got worse shields. But yeah, so... Modded it. It's a bit better. X-Wing XJ-3. And probably try it out next stream. And as usual, I'll be doing stuff off stream just to get some money and hopefully get enough to buy the Dreadnought again. Or something bigger. I might initially go for something bigger. I do want to get the Dreadnought. Because it does have nice fire power. It just doesn't have the shields. <laughs> anyway. That's going to be all for today. I'm planning to put... I think I'll put the YouTube... Like, the videos onto YouTube tomorrow. I definitely need to do it soon, otherwise I'm going to lose the first... playthrough. Oh yeah. I'll probably stream this... I'm thinking the weekend. Because I'm going to do an Elden Ring stream tomorrow night. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. And yeah, see you next time.